like to do when you just need to relax. I myself love snuggling up next to a warm fire and just watching a movie. That's how I decompress. Now lava lamps became really popular in the 1960s when everything was kind of groovy. People enjoyed watching the slow movement of the liquid inside the lava lamps because it was soothing and relaxing. Lava lamps can remind us just to slow down, to chill out, and just take a pause. Why don't we take a second and we'll make one of our own. All you need is an empty bottle. You're gonna fill it up about a quarter of the way with just regular old tap water. Fill the rest up with just some vegetable oil that you have in the pantry. You can pick whatever color food coloring you wanna use you'll drop in about 10 to 15 drops. I chose blue in my example. And then take an Alka-Seltzer tablet, break it up. You don't wanna use the whole tablet. I learned the hard way. If you throw in a full one, all that pressure expands your bottle. So break it up and have just about a quarter of a tablet. You will drop it into your bottle. And once it starts fizzing in there, you can kind of see that it becomes your own lava lamp and those bubbles just start moving around kind of slow and groovy. See those bottle, those bubbles moving in there? And then once the Alka-Seltzer stops, drop in another tablet. Pretty cool, huh? Well, life can get pretty stressful and kind of crazy sometimes. And it's important for us just to slow down, to relax, to chill out and make some time for Jesus. Now, if you were in a room with a lava lamp, do you think you could listen to some really fast music, some hardcore rock and roll? Or do you think the, the music would have to be kind of slow, slow it down? You've kind of got to chill out and relax a little bit when you've got a lava lamp going and let the stress just float away. You know, I could tell you the science behind why a lava lamp works, and it's a pretty interesting story, but I would rather just sit back, chill out, and just enjoy the view. You see, that's the message today. Sometimes God wants us just to take a break. He wants us to set aside all of those worries and stresses that we have, all that stuff that weighs us down, and just spend some time with Him. Today's story is about two sisters, one who knew how to chill out and one who had a little bit to learn about chilling out. Fortunately, the one who had a little bit to learn, she had the greatest teacher ever to show her what was most important. We're going to hop into Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. As Jesus and the disciples continued on their way to Jerusalem, they came to a certain village where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. Her sister Mary sat beside the Lord's feet and listened to everything he taught. But Martha was so distracted with the big dinner that she was preparing, she came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits there while I do all of the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, My dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all of these details. There's only one thing worth being concerned about. Mary has discovered it, and it will not be taken from her. Martha was doing what I think most of us would do if we had a special guest coming to our house. She was cooking. She was making sure everything looked perfect and clean. She was working so hard to be the perfect host. She had the perfect house guest, literally, and she wanted Jesus to be comfortable. 
Martha was so annoyed with her sister that she that her sister was not working to help make everything right. She even went to Jesus and said, Jesus, tell her to get up and do some work. But Jesus told Martha that she had it backwards. It was Mary who had chosen the right thing to do. Mary put aside the work just to sit at the feet of Jesus. You know, we spend our days running from place to place, activity to activity, often so busy that we don't even have any downtime. These lava lamps are great reminders just to sit down, set aside time each day, and just chill out and be with Jesus. Now I know making time for Jesus is not always the easiest thing to do, believe me. From the moment our alarm goes off, we've got to get up, we've got to get dressed, we've got to eat breakfast, we've got to get our backpacks ready, we've got to get to the school bus, we've got to get on the school bus, we've got to go to school. And that's all before probably 8.30. Then what about all the stuff after school? The music, music lessons, the sports practice, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, all of those activities. And then all the activities that our sisters or our brothers are doing, mom and dad are doing, that we have to take along to. No wonder we're so tired and stressed out all the time. Many people make excuses that they're way too busy to spend time with Jesus. They don't have the time in their schedule, so they just don't do it. The truth is we are too busy not to spend time with God. The busier that we are, the more we really do need that time. We need a daily reminder of who we are, who God wants us to be. We need to find the time to pray for wisdom on those tough choices. We need to pray for direction. We need to pray that God will help keep our eyes open for those moments when he wants us to help someone in need. God did not make it so we would spend every single hour of our day in full speed. He built the need for rest into our DNA, and that's why we pause and sleep every day. And that's why we need to make time to sit down, relax, and be with Jesus every day. The benefits of time alone with God are endless, and so are the blessings from coming to know Jesus even just a little bit better. The sooner we start the habit, the easier it will be to keep it as we get older. You know, commit yourself to spending just a little bit of time every day. Pick your favorite place. Pick a time that's good for you every single day. And whatever you do, don't miss it. Choose wisely, like Mary did. Grab a seat. Grab your Bible. If you have one or make one, turn on your lava lamp and just chill out with Jesus. When we set aside that time every day, we will go, grow stronger in our faith. We'll find the wisdom that we need to follow Jesus. Don't do life without Jesus by your side. Take time out of every day. Read your Bible. Read your devotional if you have one. And always spend time talking to God. It's a groovy way to grow your faith. Now we're going to take just a moment and we're going to talk to God right now. So will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, I know it's hard sometimes to find that time, but I pray that you just open up that window of time for us to be with you, to let us know when is the right time for us, and just impress upon our hearts to spend time with you, to spend time in your word, reading a devotional or even just talking to you. I pray that everyone has that time, finds that time, and makes that time in their life. And we pray this in your name. Amen. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.